So all I'm saying is, the words Pelosi and Hammond used to mean something totally different. <laughs> Just last week, I mean, See, I, I, this is why, this is why we're in trouble. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Whiskey and Sarcasm. No, Whiskey and, we haven't done this in so long, I don't remember what we are anymore. Well, why haven't we done, Whiskey and Sunshine. That's off -grid. us, that's us. So, you're probably that's wondering, okay. what the hell we're doing, I we haven't done a live in a really long time, and, well, we're still not going to. We, <laughs> we can talk about the reasons for that, I guess. Uh, I'll let you start. Well, I'd like to say happy Halloween, Halloween. That's what I want to say. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I, for some reason, wanted to say Things are just that. getting weirder and weirder. It's crazy. I, it's my age. It's because I'm going through menopause, I think. No, 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 no. I mean oh. the world. Oh, you mean the world. Oh, I thought you meant me. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm out of touch. I just thought things have gotten really strange. Yeah, things have gotten crazy. Uh, the live thing. Let's go back to that. Yeah. yeah. How come we're not doing lives? Because our internet sucks. Yeah. That's why. So, like yeah. with a lot of things, when they tell you they're going to make stuff better, not always. They tell you it's better, but it's actually not. For a little it's while. Like way worse. Just to get you, zing, you know, get you sucked in. And then, uh, no, it does not work very well. And so we get a lot of the uh, uh, network unstable. Yeah. We're unstable here. So, so it's, hard to even, it's hard to even get calls without getting dropped. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. So we can't do lives right now. So we figured where it was, uh, you know, Halloween. Hollow. Hollow, wiener, <laughs> hollow, whatever. Anyway, where it was, uh, whatever you want to call it, we would do like a undead live. <laughs> so it's like a zombie live. So yeah. we're going to release it as a premiere. And when it comes up live, we'll both be sitting here on our uh, computers or on our laptops or on our tablets or whatever. So we can do our are... best to interact and say the usually stupid comments that you or smoke, I have become to be known for. Or smoke signals. I yeah. mean, it all depends on how the internet is. Never yeah, know. well. So what's your costume for Halloween? What did you dress up as? I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> That's what you were last year. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> What is that? A Zoom call? Like, I don't even know what that I don't is. Know. I don't know. I, Just, don't know. I think he's disgruntled. You're supposed to dress up like you're not, like something you want to be, not something well, you Well, what are you dressed up as? I'm a chicken tender. <laughs> so we didn't, we didn't get the memo on. It should have been stuff we wanted to be. I, I think that's, this is what we want to be, disgruntled and chicken tenders. Okay. I'm whatever I she know. says I am. <laughs> I don't know. I think I was disgruntled earlier, but we won't talk about that because this is supposed to be fun, not... <sighs> anyway, <laughs> you guys heard any good jokes lately? Yeah, let's tell us some. <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah. So, what so uh, anyway, what we've been up to, we've, we've been putting out a few videos. Um, it's hard to find a time. We're trying to get ready for winter, mm -hmm. get everything done. Um, Stuff you've seen, but... You know, we'll touch touch on some of it here yeah, and there. Yeah, yeah, we serviced. I did the big service on the tractor, the first big service on that. Yep. So that's... Uh, that's out there. Yeah, I know that. I'm not yep. talking to them. I'm to you. I'm talking to the... Yeah. Well, they, you, well you know, too. So, I just... You know what? <laughs> Incomplete sentences. Here we go. Well, it's early yet. <laughs> it's early. He just got up. So. Anyway. So, yeah. uh... What else have we been up to? We have been busy getting the garden wind, wound down and stuff canned and uh, stuff taken care of. Laying Bag, in supplies. Bags, laying in supplies, getting ready for winter as far as getting the tractor fueled up and ready to go our buckets of sand we have a bunch from last year that we didn't use so we really don't need that which is good 
Um, what else have we done? Bought new tires for my truck. Bought new tires, yeah. I'm sure they really want to know about that. I'm not yeah. sure. I actually filled my truck with gas, too. Oh, I'm not sure which one increased the value more, the new tires or the tank full of gas. I don't know. You probably mortgaged the house for that, which is great. What's the gas was this morning? What did I what did I say it was? It was Last time it was three ninety five, yeah. Up here. Yep. And heat and oil was four five five fifty something. Yes. Yeah. Five five dollars fifty. 59, I think. Diesel fuel right is uh, as of Halloween. Yeah. And diesel fuel is over six bucks, I believe. Or right at. Oh, right at, yeah. Something is a... Uh, yeah, kerosene? Something. Limited. Uh, it's not a question of how much money you got. It's a question if they even have any. Yeah. So there are some places that um, they're on like a rotation, so they're only getting their tanks filled once a month. And it's such a glut because people want it for wintertime because you know, a lot of people have those kerosene heaters. Uh, I like keeping it around just to burn in the lamps if we decide to use kerosene lamps and save some electricity mm -hmm. and and I sometimes when it gets cold out I like to cut my diesel fuel with uh, kerosene use it for a lot of stuff so I try to keep some around and uh, diesel fuel of course we that's being a shortage that's going to be a serious thing for us so we've been uh, taking steps to yep. try to make sure that we're going to have what we need um, but things ain't good people people don't realize um, and I don't mean to be a downer because this was supposed to be a fun show, and I still I want it to be, and it's gonna be. But <laughs> be pay attention, Downer. pay attention, folks, because all through the news, all you're hearing about is the price of gas. Well, I'm gonna tell you, not much around here gets moved with gas. Gasoline is probably the least used fuel if you think about it. Um, our supply chain runs on diesel fuel, mm. and I don't care whether it's a train or a tractor trailer, even a jet. A jet is running on highly refined kerosene. That's what jet fuel is. So that's that type of fuel. And now we get shortages and we got extreme high prices. Uh, people are wondering how they're going to heat their houses. Yeah. This is ugly. It's everywhere. It's this, not just this here. This is ugly. No, yeah. I know it's it's all over the place. Yeah, I know everywhere. it is. But I don't mean to, you know. Crazy stuff. I'm not trying to start a panic, but. Make sure your head is out of your butt. Take a good look around and prepare to make the best of whatever world we're given to deal with, I guess. Yep. It's the best you can do. That is. That's all you can do is the best. But that you uh, can do. Do what even you can. though I wanted to have fun on our Halloween Undead Zombie Live, I, I wanted to put that Disclaimer, we wanted to make sure everybody knew. Yeah. Because winter's coming. Yeah. <laughs> The cold is coming. Well, Too bad although, we couldn't could come up with a giant, bizarre news story to distract everybody from all that. Yeah, I'm sure there's one coming real soon. I don't know. I mean, we've already got half-naked house gas wielding hammers. And right, yeah. I'm wondering what's next. <laughs> Barney the dinosaur with a meat cleaver? I don't know. It's yeah. Halloween, so... You never you know. know. never know what could happen. <laughs> never know. Speaking of Halloween and people dressed up... Uh-oh. I went to pick up our grocery order today... <laughs> And it's Halloween, so people dress up, and I think that's great. I love it. Uh, but nowadays, when they dress up and they're young folk, I never know <laughs> ah, there's some old ones whether too. they're really dressing up because it's Halloween or if they're dressing up because this is like an everyday thing to them. So the guy that wheels out my groceries <laughs> is wearing a Dracula costume. I could tell he was Dracula, vampire, whatever. And he really played the part very well. I mean, he was all dressed. He had the little neck thing here with the, oh, I like don't know. Lapels yeah, and, I don't know. Yeah. He was all, he was done right up. And he had uh, makeup on his face with a little bit of blood coming down the corners of his mouth. So I was like, I'm pretty sure he's dressed up for Halloween. Yeah, he doesn't even do this Saturday, all the time. I, I know, but it's Halloween. Oh, so, okay. Well, yeah, so I'm like, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. I'm not going to say anything because... You never know these days, but I, after about all, almost all the way through our groceries, I decided I was going to say, I really like your costume. He did a great job. And so I wanted to tell him that. So I did. He goes, you like it? And I go, yeah, I really do. And he's like, thanks. It was really, it was really nice. But I, you just don't. I don't have that luck. If I did something like that, they'd turn around <laughs> and they'd look at me and they'd go. What costume? What costume are you talking about? <laughs> and things would take a turn. I almost didn't, but. 
I well, I mean, I he was a nice young man. He was. It wasn't was too long ago. Very good job. I was introduced to a person who self-identified as a cat. Well, yeah. And so those I, I and when you talk to him, he got, you know, uh, no, <laughs> I, it's like, okay. You run into weirdos everywhere you go. <laughs> Well, there is one weirdo on every bus. Every bus. I, I never found him. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't pick him out. Like I said, world's going crazy. Yeah. It's totally insane. So why not have it Halloween is. in the middle of it? That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can't wait to up. see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, headlines tomorrow. We can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, other stuff yeah. we've been doing. We uh, we were asked to uh, be interviewed for a mm-hmm. podcast, yeah. which uh, is pretty cool. It's a new, uh, yeah. it's a new uh, up and coming thing. It's somewhat local, called uh, Grounded in Maine. Yeah. A very nice lady called uh, Amy Fagan asked if uh, she could interview us about uh, homesteading and off grid mm-hmm. life here in the state of Maine. Yeah. So uh, that podcast uh, can be found. Through her podcast, Grounded in Maine, or also, I think you're going to put a link up. Yeah, I'll put a link up tomorrow in our so community you guys tab. So you guys can listen to it. Yep. And uh, we had a good time. And I'll put it in the description uh, underneath this video, too, tomorrow. It won't be out tonight, but tomorrow, because I think that's when she's releasing it. I don't want to do it early, because it's big. It's big. <laughs> it's epic. We well, don't so want to release it so early. at least this big. I don't know. <laughs> it's not, Stop. you know. Stop it. Stop. Behave. Anyway, <laughs> what are we talking about anymore? I don't even know. But no, this is a <laughs> really, really fun podcast. Amy's really a uh, very nice person, and um, it was, that was fun. That was fun. It's probably, if you've been with us for a while, it's probably stuff you've already heard, uh, stuff about why we moved here and uh, about the house, different things about the house and how big it is and uh, we only heat with wood and things like that. But if you haven't been around and you're a new subscriber or a new follower, watcher, whatever, uh, you may find it interesting. And even if you have followed us for a while, you may find it interesting. Well, her podcast is actually, I listened to a few other episodes. It's actually uh, quite a bit over there about uh, mm-hmm. rural living. And that's what I, yeah, I would call it rural living and homesteading. It's, yep. it's, it's actually, she's got some pretty good stuff on there. I, mm-hmm. If she keeps it up, I think I think she'll do well. Mm-hmm. Um, I that was my first thing, and originally I wanted to have a podcast. That was that first idea before we decided to do the the YouTube thing. But yes, yep. someday, which we maybe. may do. We someday, may do. someday, we may. You never know. Uh, you never know. As our internet, uh, you know, is improved and continuously gets worse, we may have to do something. There is like a that. spot down the driveway that works really well, so we may have to do it from a vehicle. <laughs> With the heat on in the middle of winter, with snow banks up to our, you know what? But it may work. It'd be funny. It may work. One of the county cops would pull in and go, "What are you doing?" Yeah. We'd be I, sitting in there doing podcast. a live. You want to jump on? In a vehicle, drinking a, you know. We that, thought that it was would a go live well. down that there, but it's using cellular service, and I'm still not sure if it's stable enough. I'll have to try it just to see. I'm not sure I'm stable enough. I don't. I'm pretty sure neither I'm one of us sure. are, but it's okay. I get into trouble with lives. I always. Let's put it this way. My dad used to say even a fish wouldn't get in trouble if he kept his mouth shut. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Not really in trouble, but but uh, the powers that be don't like some of the things that we talk about sometimes. So uh, we have to be. Would you care to tell me what the powers that be like? Well, you know. I'm sorry. I, no, but... I don't know because it changes from day to day. Oh, man. Some of our friends that may watch this will understand what we're talking about with that. <laughs> you can only say certain things and do certain things. and Yeah. I would like the list of things that we can do because it will be a lot shorter than the list we can't do from the YT. So sit say. down, shut up, and be quiet. Right. Pay taxes. But still make videos so that we can make money. Well... Not us. I meant. Look at the size of that squirrel. That is as big as our rabbit. <laughs> Holy smokes! That was a pure squirrel. I'm moment. sorry, but 
There is a squirrel out there that is as big as a damn house cat. Look at the size of that I thing. I know, and he lives in the tree right out back. There's a big old nest up in the tree. I've Holy shit, you can make a hat out of that. I may. Tomorrow. Uh-oh. may have hmm. one tomorrow. You never know. I wonder how he got so big. Chicken feed? Yeah, I bet. I'm sure. And apples that Bun doesn't eat. And yeah, the chickens are all doing great. Uh, growing, doing wonderful. The bunny's well, doing great. We do have that one chicken that's got the bad attitude. <laughs> Well, it's always one. You always they got all, one. They all have bad attitudes. They're chickens. Well, that's because that other one's messing with them oh, and it gets them so? pissed off. Okay. They are molting and they're not laying as much, but they are still laying. We're, we're eating. We're eating eggs. And once in a while, uh, you know, we have a friend that likes to have some. So it's working out so far, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feathers everywhere. It looks like a massacre, but it's not. It's just molting season. So between that and the losing the light, it's been kind of... It looks a lot out here in the yard like somebody, a slasher, got a hold of a skier <laughs> in a down jacket. Because it looks like... That's our Halloween decoration. Oh. All we'd have to do is throw a down jacket all ripped up out there. and oh, We're looking for the body. They'd believe it. <laughs> it's a mess. Get a visual on that one. Well, it's, I just never have seen so many of them molt at the same time. You've always had a chicken or two go molting, but it seems yes. like almost every one of yeah, them. Yeah, this one is, is, this one's a bad one. So it's every so many, like 18 oh. months or so, and they get a bad one. So it happens. But we have young ones that are coming up, growing really quick, and they'll be like ready to lay here soon i guess i don't really keep track oh, so. what else oh geez the other day we had to put another new head on the generator oh yeah we did have that happen so uh and i'm yep. not sure what the deal is with that we're still waiting to find out because it's the second second head on that cylinder um two years in a row and i'm thinking there was a defect there somewhere but mm -hmm. i guess you'll have that sometimes yep but he never even got to adjust the valves once he put put the head on and adjusted him the first time then he came back in the spring to check on it and said it needs a new head mm -hmm. and it and it's the new one and it had never been adjusted so for some reason that cylinder is eating valves and i don't know maybe yeah. we'll have to get a new generator maybe it won't matter maybe maybe it was just a uh fluke fluke yeah, yeah but a dud we get those once in a while. You can worry about it and complain about it all you want but in the end what you really got to do is you got to fix it because you got to have it right <laughs> It doesn't do any good. Yeah, we're about, getting into the know, time get when upset. the time when we're gonna need it a little more than we did this summer. Yeah. We barely ran it this summer. We had really nice sunny days, or at least enough so that the solar, the sun would charge up those batteries really good. So we didn't need it, but now. Well, you know, it could have been the days are this long, so could have been a factory defect. You know, one of the yeah. valve guides might have got put in wrong or something. I, you know, it's hard yeah. to say. But the guy that works on it, he's the same one that's oh. come every time, and he's a great guy. And yeah, and the owners, the people, his good. boss, the owner yeah, of the, the company, company oh, Flanders good. Electric, they are great. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend them. They've been nothing but completely fair, and yeah. they're always very fast. If we need help, they get somebody right out here as soon as they can. I would assume they service Oxford County. I don't know how far yeah. they go, but... Oh, no, that, well, I know Oxford yeah. County and beyond. They do all of Oxford County, but... Probably, yeah. <clears throat> I know they do. It's a pretty uh, big county. The guy that comes here is also the same guy that does all the big off grid generators for them up north, you know, like at all of the big camps oh. and stuff up well, north. And they do outside of Oxford County. Because his, his service truck is like a giant one ton fully enclosed truck with a yeah. power lift. and He knows his stuff. Yeah. He's yeah. pretty good. Pretty he, good guy. He's a good guy. And he knows that we need that for the winter, and he's very thorough about going through it. So making sure it starts the way it's supposed to and all that. So, yeah, that's fun. But it's in this good. day and age, I'll tell you what I'm happy for. We got the parts, and the generator is fixed. Yeah. Where I work, it is a constant struggle to get parts from machinery mm. because they're not there. And the wait times on some of that stuff is crazy. So I was worried. I called them a long time ahead to let them know we were ready to have them come over and replace the head for us yeah. because, before you know, I didn't know. Before it gets too cold and before it gets too snowy. Yeah. And, and I didn't know what the availability was going to be. Yeah, we just don't. This time of year, they're 
max straight out. And the way I looked at it, I mean, the generator was still running good, so I didn't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. It was just, I knew it had to be done, and I didn't want to mess with it in the middle of the winter. So right. we figured better now than later. You know, but, uh, but yeah. But what else? What else we got to talk about? We can't talk about the generator all night. We can talk about whatever the hell we want to. All right. Let's talk about, I don't know. I don't have anything else. This is all. We've just been. Okay, bye. <laughs> we're just going to disappear now. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're still here. Oh, shoot. It didn't work. Let me try the nose. Ding, ding, ding. No, we're still here. Yeah. It work. It's been a hell of a year, really, to be honest with you, between... <laughs> Between hurting my back and dealing with all that and uh, everything that's going on, it's been a hell of a year. I'm hoping, mm -hmm. I'm hoping next year is going to be better. I am. That's all you can do. Well, it's it's wasn't too too bad. I mean, yeah, no, it was, no, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't but, the best, but it was pretty good. Hey, we got all of our firewood in. That's the other got thing. All the firewood in. Got the stove Very all fixed. Important. Stove's all rebuilt, stove. and it works fantastic. I had I had my doubts when I. Uh, when I was changing out the parts, because a lot of the stuff that was broken and uh, had been, you know, like overheated and cracked was made of cast iron. And the parts that they sent me were made out of like thin stainless steel. Mm. <laughs> so you're looking like, at the two oh, going. Holy Where's... smokes, this isn't going to work. Yeah. Well, it works really good. And after I got, got it all put together, I started to understand their philosophy about it. <laughs> and it actually makes it easier to clean out. So... In the long run, I think it's going to be okay, but yeah, it works. It works, and it, and it heats, and it's it's very it's back to being very efficient. Cooks you right out, love it. So uh, it's running right now. Yeah, feels it's good. T-shirts. Yeah, feels really but good. So. My dog is in there laying next to the stove. I'm yeah. sure. Because the weather is getting cooler. I mean, we were in the yeah. six like 62 today. 20s, 20s overnight. Um, and 20s overnight. 20s overnight. Yeah, really frosty and cold in the morning. The sun's not as warm as it was. And it's hunting season. And it's hunting. Uh, opening day was this last Saturday. We have not gone. Have not gone hunting. I don't know if I will go hunting this year. We've we've done our best to try to keep our freezers full. And we'd have to can it. We'd have to can it. And I just, to me, as much as I love to hunt, uh, we don't really need that much meat right now, somebody else might. I'm gonna take a pass if I want to hunt a deer later because I have to for sustenance. <laughs> I can always do that as long as they're out there. But um, I'm not all that worried about it. It is weird not going, you know. I will have to dig some orange out because, mm -hmm. don't tell anybody, but people are stupid not in season. They do dumb things, so mm -hmm. orange, orange, orange. Well, all they think about is getting that deer yeah. and, and uh, they don't think about the rules of owning a gun and shooting a gun. So, geez, I just said the bad word. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I think in this context, they'll let it slide. Is it okay? I think so. Because, like, I have a crafting channel, and I say glue gun a lot. and But that's okay, I've heard. And it doesn't do anything bad. But So maybe I should call it a glue gun. That's what I'm talking about when you go hunting with a glue gun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, that was the update. I think, do we have anything else? We don't want to leave these guys hanging this long. They're no, going. These guys have been drinking and we have not. I have Well, not. you haven't been drinking and, and you, I just started. Just I started. just had a drink. So, no mean, drinks. We're just in the woods and foolish and it's Halloween. Wow. Well, that's yeah. always been my... We're off-grid in the woods, that's foolish. That's been my MO for years. I'm off-grid in the woods and foolish. But... <laughs> So, right where I want to be. I didn't buy any candy, so I hope nobody comes. We're going to turn the lights out, turn on some scary movies, we'll snuggle up. We'll give them up. an egg. Yeah, I got an idea. If trick-or-treaters come, we'll throw eggs at them. Yeah. <laughs> There's no That'd treats here. It's only tricks. That's right. I could TP them, but good Lord. Do you know how much that pumpkin spice toilet paper costs? I just can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I was wondering if that would hang him up. It's really not pumpkin. Just because it's yellowed. <laughs> No. See now, a lot of people, a lot of people would see a different colored toilet paper and immediately feel compelled to taste it. I am no. not that person. No, I am smell not. it, smell it. No, not oh, taste it, but smell it. Oh, that uh, okay. <laughs> 
I just saw that that was out there. I don't know if it's for reals or not. I saw uh, it on the interwebs. And you never know when you see it on the interwebs if it's real. The intertubes? Not. Yeah. The YouTubes. The interwebs. Whatever. I, 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 I don't know. But <laughs> get a roll of duct tape. And what you need to do if you watch the news at all is you need to start here. And you need to duct tape. Just to keep the top of your head from... Blowing off. Blowing off. <laughs> because, Wow. Wow. You're funny. Well, no, I, I'm actually being kind of serious. No, I, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. But these guys know. Oh, I know they know. They know. I know they know. And, and if you don't know, then good for you. <laughs> yeah. I try <laughs> not to, I'm but I live say. with him, so I know all yeah. about it. So, yeah. But um, I think that's it. You know, in the old days, Saturday Night Live would be having a field day yes. with all this. Instead of being like, they may be, they may, they may be winding up. Who knows? No. This Saturday was too quick. They have to have till next Saturday to have something going. But until then, you have us. Not good. No. All right. I don't know. So I guess uh, that's, that's all we've got. Well, like I said, we uh, we've been online this whole time uh, interacting with you hopefully with our phones so it's kind of be a sort of live yeah zombie you dead know, we may do this more live. often if it works out uh, probably we'll be better prepared <laughs> who am i kidding <laughs> we won't be we better won't. prepared means i mix two drinks instead of one that's right. what that means he so has one on up. standby yeah. yeah but we can try to do like a, a live at some point probably in our vehicle down down in the in the phone booth Wi-Fi area where you can make good phone calls and get pretty good Wi-Fi. Well, we wanted to live off-grid. Yep. And here we are. This is what's happening. A lady tried to sell us a better cell phone plan the other day and tried to tell us that we'd have better reception because the new phones were oh, 5G. Yeah. She showed us the map and everything. Yep. And I said... And like, we don't even get 4G. Oh, so we don't even get 3G. We, we don't, barely get 3G. We don't, so it's, we don't, and my phone is not old it's like yeah. there's no way that new phone's going to make this any better you're out of your mind <laughs> well they're putting up towers all the time she says so well oh. if they were our phones would be working better yeah true. so true that i love those times when you get a voicemail two days after you got the phone call yeah well, because you left the property. That's the right. problem. You have to leave the property in order to get that voicemail. We're back to that. That started when we were first here, before we had internet. And now the internet's gone back down again. We had it. I don't know. Maybe the internet runs on kerosene. <laughs> what do you think? It runs on the little mice in the wheel. And they're not feeding them anymore because it just costs too much to feed them the cheese. So they're dying off. I think right. that's what it is. Yeah. So anyway, with all that being said. Yeah. I'm Shelly. And who's this guy? And I'm Scott. And we're. Whiskey and Sunshine. Crazy in the Woods. <laughs> A new channel. Whiskey and Sunshine. Crazy in the Woods. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. We're losing it. Well. Wait till, wait till the middle of winter. That would work. Ah, uh, we always start going buggy when the leaves <laughs> fall. You know that. <laughs> Wait till the snow banks are as high we as... We can call it the rut, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Except in my case, it's like, boy, I'm in a rut. <laughs> Not like, you know, <clears throat> I'm in a rut. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> that all went away a long time ago. Okay, we're going <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> Click. Chop. We're done. That's right. Remember, <laughs> if you're going to San Francisco, better wear some flowers in your hair. Oh, my God. At least God. that's what Paul Pelosi says. Oh, no. <laughs> Have a nice night.